Uh, they're trying to put a mosque in Florida. That's okay. Yeah, fuck it. What happened yeah, down there? People think I'm. People think I don't want mosques built in, in America. There was an oil spill. Stop the mosque. I, I go issue to issue, and and you know a mosque really close to Ground Zero bothers me. Yep. It has nothing to do with freedom of religion. I understand that completely, but this particular mosque bothers me that it's two we two uh, blocks from fucking Ground Zero. Yeah. Although they... I don't care if they build them anywhere else. I really don't build one right next to my fucking building. I don't even care. They don't do, care. They do have a lot of flight schools down there, though. <laughs> what? Florida. Oh right. Meh. Meh. Some Just church. Saying. Some church is doing some Koran burning. It's like, what are you doing? It's, like, yeah. it's not about the fucking. <laughs> Nothing better than a good old fashioned book burning. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like, you know, yeah, people are good. missing the point. People Film are calling. black and white. Have Goebbels fucking there. <laughs> well, the people that are showing on the news, it's like, it's freedom of religion. We understand that. But it's also about tact and fucking, yeah. yes. you know, ins insensitivity that is bothering a lot of fucking people. That's all. I had a That's all. discussion last night about the whole freedom of religion and how these politicians, especially uh, like Bloomberg, especially, is coming out and saying, hey, this is a constitutional right that they have to do this. And he is one of the most uh, outspoken opponents of what I like, the Second Amendment uh, to our Constitution and our right to bear arms. And Bloomberg is the worst when it comes to the Second Amendment. And that's one of our rights it's number two and and he is completely against that yet he's like just coughing up that drivel about their right to fucking religious freedom uh to build right. a mosque and uh he keeps um law-abiding citizens from uh, arming themselves you think bloomberg has armed bodyguards of course i, oh I always get a kick of out of that of course what the people that have armed bodyguards and then yell on the screen and then no one yeah. has guns. rosie yeah. o'donnell is probably, a prime example you probably shouldn't have a vote you shouldn't have a vote if you have armed people around you at all times. Rosie O'Donnell, a prime example. Which means we don't get a vote. <laughs> Outspoken anti-Second Amendment. Yeah. Uh, Rosie O'Donnell had two bodyguards, both of them armed. Uh, both of them have a permit to carry. And she then said something like, well, I'm in the public eye and I have children that need to be protected. It's like... Well, then who the fuck are you? Yeah, you should Maybe get... everyone needs to be protected and wants to protect themselves. Yeah, uh, you, fuck her. You should, Fat uh, fucking slob. <laughs> I really believe you shouldn't get a vote if you got armed people around you. So it's, yeah. it's a different situation. Bloomberg is well protected. Yeah, you don't as, think as well that he should be. But. You don't think that guy to his left and the guy behind him doesn't have heavy artillery behind him? We're looking at a picture of Bloomberg of from uh, Life magazine. There, the mayor I of guess. New York City is one of the most powerful fucking jobs in politics, right? Yeah. So. Oh, he's okay. Yeah, but I don't understand why. These people are getting on the news to yell, you know, freedom of religion. I think most people that are smart understand that part of this yeah, issue. Absolutely. You know, I, I mean, and then someone's like, "Well, how many mosques are, are are in Manhattan right now?" I'm like, "I don't care how many. Yeah, I don't care. That's fine. That's completely fine. I, I have no problem with that. I'm not gonna like." You're not going to get a free pass on building a mosque where uh, body parts were found and uh, part of the plane went through the roof. Uh, a little too close. Well, we got uh, Imam. 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 The Imam. Yeah, he's saying some very interesting things. I hate, I hate that word. The word. It, thanks. I can never say. I was just going to say, I hate Imam. It's a hard word to say. You want to say Imam, imam. or Imam? It's imam. You want to say Imam? Imam. But yeah. it's Imam. Imam. Iman. He said this. <laughs> and the history of the politics between the West and the Muslim world. Um, we tend to forget in the West that the United States has more Muslim blood on its hands than Al-Qaeda has on its hands of innocent non-Muslims. Uh, you may remember that, um, that the US-led sanction against Iraq led to the, uh, d to the death of over a half a million Iraqi children. Ugh. This has been documented by the United Nations. He, he's That's dead. the guy that is the moderate Muslim that everyone's embracing yeah. to, to help uh, heal and get together the West with the Muslim world. He's just another fucking cunt Muslim shithead. Not Enough of this shit. Every one of them has that little but the yes. US but the he actually is saying in that sentence that the US 
is worse than Al-Qaeda. That's yes. what he's saying right there. Yeah, more blood on our hands. And that's, and that's the one that that asshole mayor of ours is lining up with. God, yeah. it's fucking... Yeah, put him over there. You don't think he's going to have a little chit-chat with some of his boys when they get in there about what fucking uh, assholes we are as a country? Mm, yeah. Stop it. That's him. That's the guy. That's him. What, what complicates the, 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 the discussion intra-Islamically is the fact that, that the West has, has not been cognizant and has not addressed the issues of its own contribution to uh, too much uh, injustice in the Arab and Muslim world. There you go. Yeah. Uh, it's a difficult subject to discuss with Western audiences. But it's one that must be pointed out. Yeah, the key point is that his soft yeah. voice is not fucking oh, lulling me into listening no, to no. him. Right. It's the same shit. The U.S., he's saying the West. The U.S. Right. has not addressed its contribution. Uh, he's going to translate. The U.S. foreign policy brought 9-11 on the U.S. The U.S. asked for it. The U.S. got it. Therefore, Al-Qaeda is pretty much let off the hook because the U.S. has caused more Muslim blood yes. to spill than they've caused United States blood. That's what he's saying, this fucking twat. And this is the guy that everyone's embracing as the moderate Muslim. And by the way, he is a moderate Muslim, just talking like that. Sure. He doesn't have a bomb strapped around him, so he's moderate. It's, it's, it's infuriating that they're kissing this fucking guy's ass. And Bloomberg, you fucking self-hating Jew, is, is sitting there looking at this guy and, and kissing his fucking uh, 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 terrorist Arab ass. Ugh. It's funny, people always knock the Midwest, like, oh, they're dumb in the Midwest, or they're dumb in the South, but you know what, about something like this, they're more honest about mm -hmm. how sickened they are by it. They're not trying to doll it up, they're like, uh, you know, they're just a little bit more honest in their language. Yeah, yep. Let's kiss each other. Uh, Let's please. Well, I can't stand this imam. This issue is like all over the place every fucking day now, man. Oh, it dude. is building and building and building. And I can't get enough that his wife's name is Khan. I <laughs> know, Daisy Khan. Khan. Oh, Captain, <laughs> they put bombs in our buildings. <laughs> God. Uh, let's say hi to Bobby in Providence, Rhode Island. But you keep missing the target, God. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby. Hey, boys, how you doing? Hi. Hey, Hello. Hey, Jimmy, let me ask you a quick question. Sure. We're, we're talking about, you know, Saman, and he's saying that uh, half a million Iraqi kids, whatever. What would happen if, if the Iraqis or the Russians came over here and started fucking with us? I'll tell you the... the I'll, hold on, that was a quick question. Red Dawn, my friend. Red Dawn. He was I'm saying... Sorry, man. Wolverine, Wolverine. <laughs> no, dude, he was saying that the U.S.-led sanctions caused the death, meaning that the sanctions against Iraq... Uh, which I'm guessing were over the weapons of mass destruction inspections, are what caused the death. That's what I'm, I'm assuming he's saying. Mm -hmm. So basically he's saying that Saddam Hussein or the Iraqi government took an action, the U.S. led the sanctions, and that caused starvation. Not the fact that Saddam was taking money that could have fed those children and filtering it to his military and stealing it for himself. Exactly. He was blaming us for Saddam stealing that money from those, those children. Look at the palaces. Our, our, our politicians don't do that ourselves. Right? We, we filter all our money into the military, yet there's plenty of kids starving. There's plenty of people dying on the streets of America, but we don't give a shit about that, do we? But we're not blaming, no, other, no, no, we're not blaming other countries. You're we, asking me should. what I would do, and I'm saying what he's saying is that the U.S. caused those children to starve because of the sanctions. Instead of saying that Saddam Hussein's uh, actions caused the U.S. and other countries to levy sanctions against them. And he's the one that decided not to feed the children. Right, but you just said Saddam Hussein filtered money from his own country. But we just took it. He just basically took it. Yeah. The extension of my question now is, what if another country came in and did shit to us? What would you do? What do you mean if they came and did shit to us? Like when Japan did? I think the U.S. answered. Yeah. Uh, when Al-Qaeda did uh, and uh, Afghanistan gave them cover, I think they, we, 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 we said we wanted to do as a country. Yeah. And I'm for that. What I would do is I would like the military to strike back when it's, when it's justified. I would... Uh, Anthony just said Wolverines. That was a great movie. Okay, Red Dawn. <laughs> great. Yeah. Okay. I think they're remaking black, it with an entire black, black cast. <laughs> I, we should make a movie now with Red Dawn in, in 2010. Think about that. I, I think they are that. making a, a remake of Red Dawn, aren't they? I think that's in the works. You know, I, I talk yeah. to my kids. You know, they, they see app, the things that are going on. App. And they're scared about, they're scared about <laughs> All right, thank you, brother. <laughs> Brian <laughs> in Jersey. <laughs> Brian! <laughs> what, what's up, Brian? Just a quick point. There isn't a large Muslim community downtown in downtown New York to warrant such a place of 
of worship what it's only a fuck you to america yeah no it's part not part a part place of worship uh, uh only my friend it is a community center for everybody yeah. to go there and learn learn about the muslim uh, world learn how you strap a fucking bomb onto your body or plot to fucking learn how to plot against the U.S. in secrecy, or just learn about the sins of the U.S. Of just course, even without the vi the violence, uh, just learn about the sins of the U.S. and the uh, how awful the U.S. is and how U.S.-led foreign policy kills Muslims and Muslims don't kill Muslims. That's those are American soldiers strapping bombs to them and running into oh, yeah. mosques. Who, yeah, yeah, exactly. Who's running into the mosques and hacking each other apart? You don't think they're going to have an open mind oh. <laughs> at but, the center? Dude. Yeah, I don't think I see that. <laughs> Ant's right, though. This guy is a moderate. Like, he, this is a moderate Muslim. There's never one... Yep. This is why... So Mo this guy so, uh, kind of has an open mind? Yeah. He's supposed to have an open and mind. And even this guy cannot stop saying how we're responsible. For spilling Muslim blood, and it's our fault... That, uh, that, the, that they hate us. Not that their religious fanaticism causes them to hate people, yeah. and that wherever there are Muslims in the world, there's violence. He's loving the position he's in, huh? And you don't think when he's in there preaching his fucking drivel that he's going to have a few things to say when they're all just Muslims in front of him? You don't think he's going to be yapping about how fucking awful the U.S. is? The West, excuse me. The West. Who's left is in the West? The West. Canada? We're the West. Shut up. Latin America? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's go to Trucker Dan. Trucker Dan. Hey, good morning, my fellow Americans. Good morning, Trucker Dan. Hey, uh, all these pacifist assholes calling in need to start doing their research. Pacifist. This, this is Water Guy. Water. Yeah. Water. What's Got up? Pomegranate lemonade this morning. No. Um, I hear they put stuff in our food to make us pacifist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Hey, man, seriously, this, if you did research on this, this this imam is, Cordoba House is an actual exact replica of the one in Spain. And that one in Spain burnt down, not only burnt down a Christian church and put up the Cordoba mosque in its place as a sign of victory, they killed nearly every Christian in the ah, town. The Cordoba. Yeah, that's what this is about. It's 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 about a victory and you know these conversations between these mosques. All the uh, seats in the the mosque are made of rich Corinthian leather. <laughs> <laughs> oh by the way, it's funny, when we were when Opie played that uh that audio, I had not looked at the post yet, and I just opened it up, yeah. and it said, U.S. worse than Al-Qaeda. So he's, that's, that's a five-year-old speech that you played. So he's getting killed for that now. That's oh, bad. Oh, this isn't a new... Dude, no. That's nope. five years old. It was dug oh, up. But he's it, not happy that was no. dug up. But no. you think Fuck, I didn't that, know that matters five years? It was after 9-11. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you know he's not being very sympathetic. Two thousand five. Yeah. But I'm saying that's getting a fucking uh, no. That's getting him a, lot, a tremendous amount of bad press. So I, the, the I imagine. Oh god. So imagine the conversations he's having behind the scenes without the press around. You know he's going, oh, help me build this mosque in victory. If he's saying these things in front of the press. You can only imagine in the mosque, yep. behind the scenes, what he's saying. Yeah, behind the scenes, you got to imagine he's a hero to oh, get this done. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this would make a lot of Muslims very, very happy, I would assume. Oh, yes. All right, oh, Trucker Dan. He made Thank that speech you. in Australia, by the way. Oh, really? Yes, that was in Australia. That's a dangerous place, that Australia. Watch out for that. <laughs> a lot of Muslims down there? I don't know, actually. Uh, let's say hi to Scott in Tampa. Everyone's talking about this mosque thing. Scott. Good morning, boy. Hey, hey, hello. By the way, Jimmy, you killed in Tampa. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I love Tampa. You killed in uh, Cucamonga. <laughs> um, I read. I read last week that this uh, the Imam guy uh, is being supported by the State Department, and I almost positive I read that his trip was being financed. Oh yeah, by us. Yeah, he is. We paid for right. his trip to the Middle East to, you know, make a, a piece so he could go to the Middle East and talk about how wonderful the United States is and how we should all get together uh, and, and, and get rid of this fear of uh, Islam. And right. Meanwhile, he's bad-mouthing the United States of America. Stryker. This guy's a scumbag. He is a scumbag. Yeah. Stryker. Good morning, boys. Well, I meant Stryker. First of all, are you really calling me a pussy? <laughs> oh, shit. You're not calling well, me a pussy, right, Stryker? Oh, shit. That, that's a mistake on the fucking uh, phone line, right? 
Well, you've hung up on me four days in a row when I've tried to prove I didn't. I didn't hang up on anyone. Sir. Maybe you stop.